Plotting a complex number on the complex plane. We cannot plot complex numbers on a number line as we might real numbers. However, we can still represent them graphically. To represent a complex number, we need to address the two components of the number. We use the complex plane, which is a coordinate system in which the horizontal axis represents the real component and the vertical axis represents the imaginary component. Complex numbers are the points on the plane, expressed as ordered pairs AB, where A represents the coordinate for the horizontal axis and B represents the coordinate for the vertical axis. Let's consider the number negative 2 plus 3i. <clears throat> the real part of the complex number is negative 2, and the imaginary part is 3. We plot the ordered pair negative 2, 3 to represent the complex number negative 2 plus 3i. So here, if we look at the first part, which is the real part is negative 2, we start at 0, and then we move to the left negative 2 units. And then we then use the second coordinate, which is positive 3, we move up 3 units, and therefore that point is going to represent negative 2 plus 3i. So in a complex plane, the horizontal axis is the real axis, and the vertical axis represents the imaginary axis. So given a complex number, represent its components on the complex plane. First, we determine the real part and the imaginary part of the complex number. Second, we move along the horizontal axis to show the real part of the number. Three, move parallel to the vertical axis to show the imaginary part of the number. And then four, we're going to plot the point. So for example two, we're plotting a complex number on the complex plane. Plot the complex number 3 minus 4i on the complex plane. Now the real part of the complex plane is 3. So let's take a look at that. We have the real part is 3. So we start at 0 and we move to the right 3 units. And then the imaginary part is negative 4. So therefore, we move down 4 units. And so next, we can then write what this complex number looks like on our graph. We can then write this as 3 minus 4i. 